welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to show you guys some of the toys that i am going to be making for the rescue now the rescue um that i'm going to be having these sent is to the one that's very close to my area it's just pretty much toronto animal services um those are the words that i died i did have orange dye before so I just obviously used orange and then I have I had to mix some purple um, and I don't know if this is obvious or not but let me just turn this right side up um, these are just Halloweeny stuff um, so yeah I did this with okay so I am going to show you guys uh, uh, the video on what kind of foot toys that I'm going to be making but um, I think this is the one put where maybe you guys can't really replicate it because I do have to use my laser X tool for this but maybe I'll make like some plain um, toys so if you guys are inspired to make them at home you guys could now the other thing is especially for like the wood blocks sorry I'm a bit congested so hopefully it's not super obvious in the video but I'm super congested but um with these wood blocks they're just pine wood and what basically happens is that when I cut my own wood so those are my wood parts um I end up with scrape wood or like woods that are not I don't want to call them ugly because <laughs> I did sand them down there's literally nothing wrong with them but um, I don't really have any use for them for my shop. Maybe I should. I debated whether I should um, do like freebies for my own customers or if I should give it to the rescue. But to be honest, um, the rescue animals need them uh, quite a bit. I feel like it's one nice gesture to do. Um, and we'll see. And some of them, as you can see, I made a mistake on this one, which I'm going to make it pretty. But I... Yeah, I just put this in my like a scrape bin. I like have this bin where I just put my pine wood. Um, obviously the solar balls and stuff, they're not like, there's nothing wrong with them. But I decided to have those as well. And then I have these, those are beads. Um, I think this is 25 millimeters. I forgot the unit for it and this is a bit smaller. This is, sorry. <laughs> This is 20, this is 25. So yeah, I'm just going to make the toys. And then I'm just going to show you guys my space. But most of the toys I'll just show to you guys. Because there's going to be quite a bit. And I don't know, I don't think a lot of people are going to watch for that long. So I'll just show you guys what I did. And maybe explain a little bit on some of the toys. But for the most part, I'm just going to showcase it. Because I think there's like... Just on the pine wood itself, those are the ones over there are pine and then all those are pine. There's like, I don't know, 30? At least 30. So imagine me having to show you guys step by step 30 foot toys or two toys, whatever. That's just going to take forever. So I'll just show you guys a quick snippet and on some of the toys I'll explain it a little bit. But this is my station. This is the station I pretty much used to make most of my bird toys. And if you couldn't tell why, because I messed it up quite a bit, but um, there's like holes everywhere. That's because for my drill bit, uh, which I do need actually, um, I just, yeah, drill through it. This is probably not the safest or anything, but I'm just being honest, that's what I use. So there are these um, bits. Now I don't think I'll use this size, but I will most likely use a Forstner. I think that's how you pronounce it. This is the brand I use. I'll have the link down below. The only time I ever use this is when I'm trying to make cork or like drill cork. Like I'll make this circle. I'll show it to you guys. You know what? Explaining it is going to make zero sense. So yeah. This is just hemp twine whatever. And this is the same one. It's just that I think this is 3 millimeter, And then this is 1 millimeter. To be honest I don't really like the 1 millimeters, And... This one is my preferred choice. But for most of the toys, I'm actually going to use this tri paper rope. So let me zoom out for you guys. Sorry. Um, basically, I just cut this piece, but it's kind of finished. This was pretty large. Um, but basically, there, the reason why it's called tri is because there's three paper ropes that are like... You get what I mean, right? Braided or sort of like twirled around sorry that's just food coloring guys um 
but basically I'm just gonna cut bits this one there's two here so I just I personally really like this um using paper twine it's a bit I feel like better for like pine wood and stuff um, and it's easier on my hands because um with hemp there's just these small itty bitty parts it doesn't hurt or anything I just don't really like the feeling I don't know maybe it's like a sensory thing but yes I'm gonna use mainly a paper rope I'll show you guys in a bit these are the two tools that I will mainly using I don't know what they're called so deal with it I think I got them from Walmart I'm so sorry this one is called an ice pick um, I use it every single day for all my toys it's literally my jam and I'll show you guys what I mean but I literally use it all the time um, all the time like literally all the time it's called an ice pick I got it from Amazon and then this is my drill bit now my drill bit is not the my birds are screaming so loud. My drill bit is not the fanciest because I'm a female with um, not the best muscle <laughs> tone, whatever. And so my drill bit is not pink because I wanted it pink. I don't really care for that color. It sounds a bit funny that it's pink. But the reason why my drill bit, I really liked it is because it's very lightweight my dad okay so my dad does have like those d walls i don't even know how you pronounce it but like those traditional very heavy duty jobs and the reason why i bought this is because i can't use it they're just way too heavy and my hand wobbles and that's just not safe when you're using a job bit. this is relatively lightweight and it gets the job done um and i got it from amazon i think it was like 50 bucks don't quote me on it Max is gonna probably be a hundred. I'll have a link for most of these stuff, but maybe not this because I got it from Walmart. I don't I'll just Google it. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe Amazon has something like that. Um, so yeah, we should start right now. Again, uh, I'm not gonna show you guys. I'll show you guys every single toy, but I'm not gonna show you guys step by step every single toy because because that's gonna take forever. So yeah, I'm sorry about my voice. I'm a bit congested. So the first design I'm going to do is just using a pine block and some something like this. I'll show you guys what I mean at the end. Now to drill between the pine wood, obviously I'm going to use my drill bit. And for the balsa cube, not cube, cut out, sorry. You, I have used in the past my um, ice pick and it works. But sometimes it will break. So I'm just going to use my drill bit. I don't know what size this is. I'm super sorry. But it's quite thin. Um, and it gets the job done. I'm obviously not going to show you guys this in camera. Because that's going to be dangerous. But I'll show you guys what it looks like in a bit. So this is what it looks like. And most of the toys I'm going to do in a bit. Are going to be very similar. It's just going to be either orange or purple pine wood. With like a cutout. So I'm not going to really explain each and every one unless there's like a different style. So right now in a bit you guys will probably just see the different styles but this is the first one. So this is the one toy that went to the scrap spin not because the wood um, was a scrap piece but because I made a oopsie. So um, this is the Forstner bit that I did just a few minutes ago, um, but yeah, I don't think so I could cover this whole, I'll think if I could, I'll show it to you guys, but the Forstner bit looks like this, please focus, um, and basically you attach it to your drill bit and then keep a steady hand and you could get this hole. Now the reason why that hole is necessary is because I'm going to put cork. And you can't drill, oof, that, I mean, I'm sure it makes sense, but just in case it doesn't, you can't drill a hole to put, like, something circular. It has to be a Forstner bit. And Forstner bits, the brand I got is a bit expensive, um, but there's different styles. Um, so, yeah, I'll show to you guys in a bit what the style looks like. So, this is what this design looks like. So, the cork here is how I place it inside. I just tug it in. Now, there is this hole over here. And to be honest, to the human eye, it's a bit unsightly, but um, rabbits, I don't think, would mind. And overall, it is a cute toy, so I think it should it should be fine. So, this is what this one looks like. This is the fourth toy. Uh, this is double-sided because it is a bit um, larger. I think it's about two inches from height. And then the length is about uh, maybe four, four and a half inches. So I decided to make this double-sided. 
Before I show you guys my fifth toy, I wanted to show you guys how I open palm flowers. This is why you need pliers. Sorry, it wasn't coming to my brain what these tools were for a minute. But you pretty much um, put it from the back or from the front. It doesn't really matter. And then you just open it up. And this is where you insert um, like your uh, rope or whatever design that you are going for. the swings I made um, I might show you guys quickly what I did one by one but these are also going to go to the shelter these are for birds obviously they're just swings explain the strings a little bit this is birch wood that I have these are all treated wood um, I bake them but again there's different methods the um, wire is stainless steel uh, cutting stainless steel at least mine there's a different variation they're not military grade so it's a bit more softer but um, yeah I just make a loop after cutting the lens I want put the beads I want and then obviously make another loop and you do need a drill for this um so yeah there's this as for the beads you could get any beads honestly if you want to make something similar to it uh i know the dollar store probably or dollarama sorry about my birds um they have beads you could also amazon prime them um the other thing is i know after that some people are going to be like that's plastic it's acrylic plastic and acrylic they're from the same family but they're very different um but yeah some people still don't like it but this is acrylic i'm done guys doing all the toys now i didn't show all of them but some of these ones i just put it in there because i didn't really know what to do at this point i was just kind of like tired because my creativity was like out the window at this point those i'm gonna take some pictures so i will have it on my website if you have seen these designs now i know obviously the ones with the balsa cutouts so the ones like these it's gonna be pretty much very difficult to make it because you know you guys probably don't have laser cutouts but if you guys want to like replicate some of them i mean they're not 100 percent super original it's literally like 
a pine block with like <laughs> purple vine star so i mean if you find something that you like and you want to replicate it completely fine with me um i'm not putting these on my shop or selling them so yeah uh, i am just gonna call the shelter and hand them over oof i don't show a video of that this is probably gonna be the end of the video but other than that i hope you guys enjoyed the video if i do take a video of me taking it to the shelter i'll sh i'll include that clip over here but if not for now bye bye guys